Tell me about some of the early piano players you remember seeing when you were young down in Texas. Rope Master was the greatest piano player I knew through Texas. And you saw him play, huh? Oh, yes. Uh, he played the house red parties. I'd see him every, every weekend almost. Uh, he just the uh, best keyboardist I've ever heard in my life. But didn't ever record nothing? Never recorded a thing. And everybody heard him felt the same way. Yeah. I didn't ever know about anyone but country singers mostly. Outside of going to the jukebox in uh, uh, Louis Jordan and the cat, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, with the, those guys, but I mean old Frisco. And yeah. All of them old timers. Right, right. Yeah. And so that's where you heard them was on the jukebox playing. Right. Those guys like that. Yeah, those, I, every quarter I get, I get five nickels and go put it in the <laughs> jukebox. One of them old ones that would play 78s, right? Right, right. Yeah. Well, when, when did you start playing piano? Oh, I started there. I would, uh, it, uh, they would let me, the people let Roadmaster play the piano. I was always welcome at the Blows house. They would let me. Then uh, the car wells, I could go up to the house that was up by Park School. Then sometimes I'd slip into school and let them run up. Uh, I'd make sure it was over where I could sleep in that night. Yeah. And play an hour or two and then go on up to here to, to my house. Well, some of the families that they would let you play their piano? About three of them I know had piano. They would let me play. And you were just picking it up by ear, huh? Right. Right. Now, was it an old piano like this one? Right. The old one. The old piano. The old stand-up ones like that one there. Right. That, that, was, that was what it was. Just like that. Yeah. And so you, you figured out how to play when you were real young there. Oh, yeah. I would take uh, some time and I would take... Uh, Popsicles to go around, pick them up, and put them down on the ground. And my grandmother used to ask me, "What are you doing?" I said, I'm "Playing a piano." You ain't got no piano. I, yeah, I would, I would say, da, 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 da. and I said, "Oh, I hear the wrong note there." And I'd go back, and I'd sit there. And you could hear it in your head, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I just went on like that. I didn't let it. Stop me from not going to play. You know, he's a teenager and he took popsicle sticks and he, and he heard the piano, he heard the notes in his head and he played the notes with the popsicle sticks. That's not normal, that's genius. You know, that's someone who's gifted. He's, you know, master, one of the masters of the West Coast style of, of uh, uh, piano playing. It's a, it's a more up tempo, it's a, a you know, jump sound. Um, and he's kind of a, he's in certainly the same vein as Charles Brown, but in my mind he's also the, almost the antithesis of Charles Brown, because Charles is, is more known for his slow, deep ballads, um, and you know, Floyd's stuff is up-tempo, he's, he's, he's happy all the time, um, which is like his personality. I think we should come back in with that, and then let, let the band go away and take Yeah, that's, that's cool, we can do that. We can do that. Let's see how it all right. Okay. Yeah, it's like... When we had the first rehearsal at Bob's house, I'll never forget it as long as I live. And Floyd, after hearing the band rehearse, he like jumped up from the piano stool and goes, you guys know how to play, you know? You guys know how to play this music. Now there's a certain old beat up jack. It's heading out by a hot railroad track. Now it's so raggedy, it's about to fall. So people just call it a hole in the wall. The West Coast sound is like a different thing. Most of those guys are from Texas, but they came to California. It's a slicker city blues with horns and upright bass. It's a different feel than um, Chicago blues that really came from Mississippi and Muddy Waters. So to me, that was the key thing, was having people understood that particular style of blues that Floyd 
is famous for the records that he made in the 50s were great records that would stand up forever. Now that's a place where the wine will flow. He drank that wine and had some more. Wine is what they drink and that's the whole. Then they head down to the hole in the wall. Music is definitely a rural thing that comes from certain areas. There's city blues, and there's Texas, and there's Louisiana, there's Memphis, there's all these different regions, and blues is regional, so the things that happened in those regions influenced the musicians that came out of those areas. Thank you so much.